<laughs> well, so you've been writing for 20 years. What's the common thread in all of the stories that you write? Um, you talked about writing about religion and sex. Yes. And uh, yeah, there's definitely a spiritual element in most of what I write. I'd say spirit, spirituality, love, um, and I definitely have issues with sex. <laughs> Oh, okay. We can turn the camera off and talk about those later. But no, yeah. but, but, no I uh -huh. really said that because I work out those issues. When you, it goes back to you saying, is it easier to sort of um, deal with, remember, uh, uh -huh. deal, being truthful in the writing. Being truthful yeah. in your writing. So I actually deal with all of that stuff um, in my writing, like religion and sex and mm -hmm. all of the stuff. It's definitely a theme in several of my screenplays. So I get to sort of deal with it in a real authentic way and, and, it not, and not be me. <laughs> and then and without going too deep into it, are we talking sort of like the Madonna whore complex? Oh, and, per and, yeah, and, perfect. And, All and, that. Okay. Yes. So, All of so that. Yes, sort it's, of uh, keeping so, a good girl good. And so, then, yeah, uh -huh. so specifically on point because even in um, one script uh, called what, Reflections White, which is part of a trilogy again trilogy inspired by Krzysztof Kieslowski um, it's all about spirituality and sex and, and the archetypes in it are uh, literally they don't have names but the, the characters are archetypes there's a, a virgin mm -hmm. a prostitute uh, a cop an angel and uh, and a lover <laughs> so I like deal with it really directly right. in that script do you almost like what's taboo and then to try to turn it around and show that it maybe isn't? Yes. Like really show people that we're hiding this stuff but it really shouldn't be hidden? I definitely uh, explore, explore issues that are taboo but like you said, shouldn't be taboo, they're taboo, it, but these are just people dealing with stuff that we all deal with and society has at some point said that these things are taboo but it's not taboo, it's just life it's just life and things that we all do and you know we we love we uh we love we make love we have you know religion we have issues about religion we explore all those different things we um go through transformation we we make mistakes and some of them are bad and dark and horrible we somehow uh hopefully find resolution or absolution all that stuff so it's not taboo it's just life you know i consider one of my scripts to be a faith-based script, but the faith-based world would never consider it a faith-based script because, ironically, it has um, it has uh, sex in sex in it and violence in it and stuff like that. But there's this incredible amount of spirituality and even religion and transformation and and absolution and forgiveness and all the stuff that happens, but because we're a little hypocritical in our ideas about religion, you know, because it has sex and violence in it, they would not consider it a faith-based script, but it totally is. <laughs> have you gotten feedback from people on that? I have. Well, my brother goes, oh, it's too much, it's too much religion in it. He's, he's, he's kind of like an atheist agnostic oh, or something. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. And then other people are like, oh, it's very spiritual. But even the people who think of it as spiritual, understand that our idea of faith-based today means it can't have certain elements. Couldn't possibly be an R-rated film, you know? Right, right. Because, you know, because there's no sex and violence in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're like, okay, you know we're going to cut that. <laughs> no, no, I want to keep it in if you want to keep it in. I want it to be real. I never grew up going to church. That's why I don't, I don't, I don't know. But I, I'm fascinated by religion and I'm fascinated by, I will listen a lot of times to religious radio shows because I'm very fascinated by the, the community that's built around it. And I yeah. know that things that maybe are considered a little taboo that still exist might be very scary yeah. to certain populations. I don't know. That's the diplomatic way to put it. But I mean, I was brought up as a Baptist Christian. Mm -hmm. um, I consider myself... Uh, uh, spiritual, not religious, right? But most of my actual characters that I write about are Catholic. Interesting. <laughs> wow. So then there's a lot of guilt, yes. sounds like, and yeah. then, but maybe and having to kind of repent and, and thinking that they're bad, 
And, but then there's a lot of interesting things to look at in that because I think we all feel that even if we're not even doing something that horrible. Yes. I think guilt is, especially as women, we're instilled to feel like we've got to nurture and if we don't, we're bad. It's true, so. yes, but you know, guilt is just a terrible thing. We should just get rid of it. And so you write about that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there's no room for it. <laughs> there's no room in our happy place for guilt. But it, there is in our scripts, though. <laughs> sure. And it makes for more interesting characters. Absolutely. <laughs>